Welcome to We're in Motion Wednesday. Last week, I talked to you about the three parts of the hourglass. The bottom, our past, the top, our future, and the grains of sand passing through as we speak. I know what you're thinking. Nishan, my grains of sand are passing through. Give me the good stuff. All right, here it is. Three things that you and I can do in order to take full advantage of the now. Number one, don't dwell. A lot of us are always told, forget the negative stuff. Stop thinking about the negative stuff. But what I'm saying is, don't dwell on the positive things either. I'll give you an example from my life. Intramural basketball, last year, I hit a buzzer beater from nearly half court. I was, I was just feeling this for a week, all the way until our next game, where we unfortunately lost. And I was telling my teammates, hey guys, I know we lost. But what about that buzzer beater I hit last week, though? And they're like, Nishan, you airballed eight times today. We mainly lost because of you. So what we have to do is take the energy from our positive things or our half-court shots and turn that into momentum for even more victories, even more half-court buzzer beaters, maybe even full-court buzzer beaters, just always trying to achieve even more than we did yesterday. Second, we're going to have to get rid of our mental clutter. I know, some people aren't gonna like this one. I already know it. Because if you're going to get rid of your mental clutter, you're going to have to get off your phone when you go to lunch with your friends. You're gonna have to put it away. I know, I know, it's not fair. It doesn't seem fair. But you're going to have to, ready? You're going to have to get off of Facebook when you're with your friends. When you're in class, no more iMessaging. I know, I love iMessaging. But no more, we can't. And when you get bored, I love Fluffy the cat, but you're going to have to stop watching cat videos. You're going to have to stop. You, I mean, it's okay to do it every now and then, but three hours, one eighth of your day, cat videos, come on guys. So what we have to do is set ourselves up to be present in the moment. When we're doing something, be there. When you're with your friend at lunch, be with your friend because you don't wanna wait until you no longer see them and regret not being fully present with them. So we have to set habits of being fully present with the now. Last and my favorite part is working today. And when I say work, I'm not talking about work, work, get it, work, work, like I'm on that grind. I'm saying doing work that's actually propelling you forward. So I find myself doing things like cleaning the house and that's really good, but after cleaning the house, I'm tired and I really haven't propelled myself forward to where I wanna be. So during the bulk of our days, still clean, don't, don't live in like a pigsty. I'm saying use the bulk of your day to propel yourself forward and in times like the evening or in the morning with a cup of coffee, this is when you should be doing your planning and your cleaning and your um, mental debriefing, journaling, meditating, any of those things that you wanna make happen. The lights just went off in here, so I, I guess it's time for us to get out of here. I wanna give you a quote from Eric Thomas, the speaker. He said, forget your past and make the best of your life the rest of your life. With that, I'll see you guys next week saying that wealth is in the mind.